seen without even the idea of the seer, without an idea that there's a body or eyes or anything. It's just this clean, clear seeing. Mantra provides this. And again, this is beautiful because when mantra is in this state and you continue the mantra, the more you do this, the more the attention is invited of the invisible listener, and that invisible listener begins to, again, engrave the reality through mantra on the screen of your mind, so to speak, and sees this insight. You know, the I remember there was a time when I was with my son and they were at the bouncy house, and you saw like this old people who were the parents of these parents and then these children. And while mantra and in that selfless self seeing, it was seen that it's just that body factory and the selfless self is moving about in all these various forms. But the forms themselves are real, so to speak, but the ideas, beliefs, and concepts about those forms, about each other in those forms, is the concept. But the actual reality of the physical bodies, these are physical bodies, empty bodies. And as Maharaj always says, pull this presence away from the body for one moment, and then you just bury and burn it. There's, it has no value except the presence. And you begin to see how the presence, believing itself as a child, believing itself as the grandmother, believing itself as the parent, is interacting with itself because you're not there. You're just seeing and observing this total functioning, once again, these insights come, selfless self engraving the reality. 